What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Bitcoin Daily. Today we're doing a full market analysis. Basically what we do in these videos, we do a full analysis on Bitcoin, which is the king. As you guys can see here, I don't know if you guys can see the shirt, but Bitcoin is king. So this is what we do our full analysis on. Uh, we go over different trade setups that we're looking at for the weekend. Uh, we do a recap on what happened throughout this week. And then we look at uh, some of the other coins that we like to look at as well. We look for trade setups there for anyone that's interested in taking those as well. Please subscribe, hit that notification down there, uh, turn on that bell, and make sure to like the video because it, it helps us to continue producing these videos. As you guys can see, the more we see you guys engaging with us and watching these videos and, and enjoying it, then the more time and effort you know we're gonna put into creating these videos. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Peace. Alrighty, guys. So let's jump right in. Let's start off uh, as we usually do on Coin Market Cap. I always like to look at the overall picture here. So if we look at a Coin uh, Coin Market Cap, uh, we'll see that the market cap today is 442.55 billion dollars, um, an increase of 4.3 percent over the last day, over the last 24 hours. Um, you can see here uh, looking at Bitcoin is up 2.4% today in the last seven days up 14% guys that's crazy uh, Ethereum is up 7.67% uh, in the last seven days up 15% uh, currently trading at 441 um, XRP is at 25 cents up 5% today 8% on the week Bitcoin Cash at 255, up 3%. It's actually down on the week still. Um, Chainlink is up 7% today, up 5 on the week. Uh, Binance up 4% today, basically 1% on the week. Litecoin, we broke $60 finally, up 4.9%, up 13% on the week. Uh, Polkadot up 5%, 10% on the week. And Cardano up 12% today, 15% on the week guys so uh we've been we've seen a lot of green let me see basically everything's green here huh maker is the only one that looks like it's down and a few randoms down here um but everything is uh pretty much green today uh yesterday last night was a crazy crazy night uh we got a lot of craziness in the market some crazy movements uh while i was doing my video we had a, a trade that triggered so that was pretty insane um but we did get to make some money on that and uh and it was it was fun it was a fun time fun times it's always fun when you make money right uh, it looks like we went up uh you see here down here like starting down here we've had the same pattern basically right so we we, we moved up we consolidated bull flag moved up consolidated another bull flag and then moved up so now it seems like we might consolidate here for a little bit before con the continuation up right so we got rejected yesterday at 16,000 um, and it looks like we're bouncing on this Fibonacci level right here uh, on the retracement tool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move this up to where we got rejected now that we've continued up we broke through this one all right so um so let's jump into this guys as you guys can see here uh you know we started the fibonacci retracement levels here basically at the bottom of this move so from the bottom which was 13,200 all the way up to its peak which is about uh, 16,000 almost uh the high was 15,979 now what i like to do after you know i look at the overall trend like not the overall trend but you know the bigger picture i like to zoom in a bit so i i like to draw trends in on the bigger picture higher time frames and then zoom in into lower time frames let's go ahead and lock this so it doesn't move all right so now you guys can see exactly where you know how these moves moved basically so you see here this is where it took off um and it's just been going ever since so we had the rejection right here and then we have now consolidation in between these two fibonacci levels 
which is uh, 15,326 to 15,979, right? Um, so what I'm looking at right now, we're looking for a breakout basically. If you know we're looking to enter, we're looking for a breakout above this Fibonacci level and above that 16,000 whole number level. Um, after we break out of 16,000, the next uh, resistance is going to be 17,000. Uh, once we break 17, then basically the next major resistance is is the all-time high, which is 20. So 17 is the only major resistance left uh, before 20,000. So that's pretty crazy, right? So we're currently at the 16,000. Uh, we got to just break through this. 17 is the next major resistance. And then from there, I think if we break 17, we're shooting. We should be able to shoot straight to uh, to 20 um if in that scenario so uh it's only a matter of time really until that happens uh we just got to be patient as you guys can see here another we have another bull flag i what i imagine is some consolidation over the weekend and then maybe on sunday we can uh see a pop or something like that um that's what i would expect but last weekend we had a surge on saturday so, you know, who's to tell when Bitcoin decides to move? Uh, because Bitcoin, let me see, is the king, guys. Um, so that's just kind of from, you know, an overview of what I think. Now, just what I think, you know, is not what I what I trade. I don't try to predict trades, right? I, I take what the price gives me. So um, the first rule is always trade with the trend. So the trend is obviously up. So I'm not try I'm not looking to take any shorts, guys. If you're looking to take shorts, you're, you're going against the market you're, in the long run. Even though you could get a uh, you could get lucky a couple times in the long run, you're gonna be a losing trader. Um, you can't trade against trend. Um, you're only making it harder for yourself when you do when you do that. So uh, first rule: trade with trend. Second rule: um, you know, play the price, right? So Right now, I'm looking for entries at the support, which is around the 15,300 to 400 level, and the and and then that that's the support entry, and then for the breakout entries is above the highs, uh, so basically above 16,000, it would that would be the breakout entry. So those are the two entries I'm looking for over the weekend, I'm looking for a breakout above 16, or a uh, pullback back to this 15,300 to 400 range. Um, if it does break below this, then the next level I'm looking at is 15,000 as it's the, a big whole number. Um, and then this Fibonacci level. So that's right around that same zone, uh, 14,922, uh, 15,000, that's around the same zone. Now you guys know how I like, I've told you guys how I like to play the support, this, these support entries. Even though it's a support entry, what I like to do, I like to see it test, right? And then enter on the jump back up. So the perfect entry that the way that I am playing these entries is I want to see a test just like this one and just like this one, right? So I want to see this test this 400 level and test this Fibonacci level. And then on the bounce, once I see a bounce, I'll buy a, a, a break above 400. And so if you would have done that in on this candle, it would have tested. You would have been watching it. You know, as soon as you got an alert that it's going back above 400, boom, you enter that trade and you would have been able to, you know, ride this up. Uh, you could have done the same thing on this candle, came down on that break back above. Boom. That's where you enter. You would have took off. And then right here, uh, we haven't had a breakdown yet. So uh, we haven't had an entry. So that's kind of what I'm looking for right now um, for these trade setups, these support entries. I want to test and then I want to see it bouncing back up on the bounce is where I want to enter. Um, I don't like to catch. I don't like to try to catch falling knives, which is why I don't like I don't really like, you know, uh, uh, setting up a, a limit order or something like that here. So when it comes down to the thing, the issue is when you do that, when it comes down, it might go like this and test this and stop you out depending where your stop is. And if it stops you out, then, then it jumps up and it's gone and you missed it. So 
uh, you'll notice that the price loves doing that because it knows that a lot of the people have their stops over here so it likes to liquidate them and take their stops out before taking off I don't know why guys but that's what the market does it does it all the time um, it's just a, the, the movers of this market is how they play the game so um, so that's what you got to watch out for and that's why I play those breakouts I mean those uh, support entries like that uh, and for the breakout you could just have your entry you know stop buy entry up here above the 16,000 level and uh, as soon as that breaks you want that to enter as quickly as possible because those things take off fast so um, so that's what I'm doing there um, and that's basically it for Bitcoin those are the plays that I'm watching this weekend that is how I'm playing it for support entries and trade entries uh, as always use stop loss guys um, you know it depends on how tight you want to be but I recommend between 50 to 100 dollars from your entry price or from the that main area that main number um, so let's go ahead and now that we went over the king which is Bitcoin let's go ahead and look at the other markets and see what's going on see what uh, trade setups are there might be for the weekend uh, so the first thing that we're looking at is uh, Ethereum Ethereum we spoke about uh, the other day we spoke about this on Monday we spoke about this trade we spoke about these trades on Monday we spoke about these trades yesterday um, and now we're gonna speak about them today we spoke about these last week we spoken about these trades a lot of times guys hopefully you guys have taken these trades because we have mentioned them in our trade setup videos um, so the first one was this 380 area right uh, we even drew a chart here this is where you wanted to enter so um, you probably got stopped out here but what's the rule guys when you get stopped out you enter again it doesn't matter if you would have got stopped out you enter again because look look at these small stops you would have lost what five dollars five dollar loss five dollar loss that's ten dollars you would have made up that those ten dollars right here then another ten dollar profit then that's fifteen more dollars you know what I mean so you would have made all that money back guys it went all the way to 345 so 45 plus 20 that's sixty five dollars you would have lost ten you would have made overall fifty five dollars on that trade if you stopped out stopped out and then just wrote it up so that's why uh, we tell you guys you got to re-enter trades you know market likes to stop you out it just that's what it does um, but these levels are there for a reason we're mentioning them for a reason so you have to re-enter these even if it fakes you out you got to re-enter them so um, um, so we spoke about that 380 area that was the entry boom this worked out and then our second our, our first uh, take profit was 390 second was uh, 400 then we told you guys 400 is another re-entry area right so you would have re-entered 400 took off 410 was the first take profit 420 was the second um, then here above 430 was a re-entry so above 420 was a re-entry uh, you could have taken right here um, above 430 we signaled this one in our trade group was another re-entry and you can see here this pop off and it went all the way to 445 um, which is currently where it's at right now so the next re-entry that we're looking at for Bitcoin I mean I'm sorry for Ethereum is above the previous high or above 350 if you want to be a little bit safer so you could set up a buyout I mean uh, breakout entries above this previous high which is 447.50 or if you want to be a little play a little bit safer and you really want to make sure that you get a break uh, above 450 would be the next uh, entry so those are the entries the breakout entries there um, for support entries you're basically looking at either 430 and 420 are your two support entries here if we see a pullback um, those are the two levels I'm looking at 430 420 and 4, 400 would be the pullback entries um, so yeah so on these you're using about you know between 250 to five dollars stop loss depends how much risk you want to take per trade um, and just you know we're keeping these 
these stops tight because we're re-entering these trades. So if it goes against us and we stop out, uh, we set up an entry right away at the same area. And then when it takes off, we re-enter. So that's why we keep these stops so tight so that we can re-enter. We want to minimize those losses. We don't want to waste time on this, on these red candles. We want to stop out of there and then re-enter. You know what I mean? So like if you're here, if you're trying to enter at 400, you would have entered, right? 400 on the break. It would have bounced around, bounced around. Here, let's see. Well, it went down to... Where did it go down to? What was the low here? 396. So if you would have had a 250... Um, stop you would have stopped out here and then here as soon as it broke again you would have jumped right back in right so you would have got right back in boom you would have rolled this up so that's why we use these tight stops so that we minimize those losses and we just get these these winners we write out these winners um so yeah those are the setups for ethereum uh let's take a look at bitcoin cash bitcoin cash we see here we spoke about these levels the other day as well um i think uh we spoke about either 240 or 250 245 i'm not sure exactly what were the levels that we had but um but now it's currently at a previous level right so this was another entry that we're that we're i think this is actually the entry we're looking at so we're, we're right back at this entry um it looks like we that this is why we keep the the stops tight right so you would have entered here and then you would have stopped out right away you know like we're not interested in anything below this we don't care for so around here you know you would have stopped out look at look at what this saved you by stopping out by keeping that uh stop loss tight you didn't have to go all the way down through this this was a major loss um so we stopped out of that now we have no interest then the next entry would have been 250 um but we're currently at the current entry so if, you, if you're interested in entering this we will look for a 260 break we want a break of 260 dollars to enter here that would be the breakout entry for bitcoin cash um and if you're looking for a, a support entry um it would be 250 but as you guys can see it dropped so hard last time so i i wouldn't be entering any support entries i'm only looking at this breakout entry so that's the only entry i'm looking at in bitcoin cash right now uh, for the weekend and litecoin so again we we highlighted the trade setup for you guys the support entry that we were looking at and again same thing if you would have entered here you would have stopped out you would have entered again you would have stopped out you would have entered again look at that so let's say let's say you would have entered here. What level was this? 253 to 254. So let's say you entered at 254. Let's say your stop was two dollars. So you stopped out once, stopped out twice. So you lost four dollars, right? Now you entered again, and it went from 254 to 263. So it hit 263. So basically it's an you nine dollar profit if you would have sold up here right um you entered at 254 you lost four made nine so you're up five that's five dollar profit that's why you always you set your stops tight and you always re-enter the trades don't get discouraged when you when you stop out people for some reason get discouraged they get uh you know depressed sad emotional about it guys you can't be emotional when trading you just gotta trade with logic you know um you can't use your heart in this you know what i mean um because then that that's what happens you get emotional about it and you don't want to take a trade anymore you just shut down your computer you're like forget it i'm not taking any more trades today if you would have stopped out and not took any more trades you would have missed out on this you would so you would be you would be down two dollars if you just stopped out again and again and then you at, after the second time you got emotional about it and you're like, discouraged and been like this doesn't work you would have mit missed out on this move so you'd be down four dollars instead of up five right so that's why i tell you guys man there's a reason why i say these things guys so uh trade setups that i'm looking for here um so 260 is actually a, a pretty decent support here 
I would be looking to use that 260 level as a entry, right? So let me see if I can clone this. Can I, can I move it? Did it not clone? Clone please, good sir. Thank you. All right, so let's go down under 61. So I'm interested in this $60 area, right? Good enough. Good enough. So um, so it's currently a, a bit above. This is, is gonna be a good area if you stretch this out. You can see that this was resistance up here. And you can see that this is a break of it and a retest of that resistance. So we're retesting, I mean, we're, this is a retest of the previous resistance now support. So we're uh, retesting here. So this is a good area to buy in. All right, if you're looking for a breakout trade, then let's see. We haven't tested these levels in a mighty long time. So uh, the breakout trade would be above the previous high. So the previous high is 63.20. So if you're looking for a breakout trade, it would be above 63.20. All right. So um, those are the two trade setups in Litecoin. Let's take a look at XRP Ripple. As you guys can see, it's finally moving a bit again, right? But we've, we've kind of been in this range right for a while now look at this range that we've been trading in for a while so if we can uh get some lines here so we've been around that 26 to what like 23.50 this is a majority of the range we dropped under it one time really but we continue trading in this range. So um, it's been a while since we've got out of there. So what I'm looking to do, you know, if I'm looking for a trade here, I want I want a breakout, right? So you see that there's a, a false breakout here, a false breakout here. So we've been rejected a bunch of times. Look at all these rejections. Um, so what I want, I'm, I'm entering above the previous high so 2617 is the previous high here so i i'll set my entries right above that right 2620 2625 you know it's anything it doesn't matter um and then i'd have my stop basically under this 26 cents so that would be my stop um because if we break through there the next uh stop is 27 cents then we have 20, 28 cents, basically every penny after that, 29 and then 30, right? So I'm looking for a breakout above that, or I'm looking to enter at support down here, that, that 2350 area. Um, get a box here. So it's basically gonna be around here this is that support area whoops didn't mean to do that as you guys can see we've tested this area here a bunch of times so if you're looking for a support entry this is a support entry the breakout entry is going to be up here above the previous high so that's what i'm looking at in uh xrp ripple let's take a look at chain link chain link we're back to where uh, where we were before so I mentioned this this the other day right um, I told you guys I'm looking for it I want and when I when I was up here I told you guys I want an entry either at $11 or at $10 right so guess what $10 hit so the 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 entry oh my goodness stop oh my goodness there <laughs> it didn't want to play ball um 
so this was the entry guys ten dollars to 1050 was the entry you wanted it below 1050 uh, as close to ten dollars as possible and your your profit was uh, you're looking to hit eleven dollars your first target so um, the most you could risk is 50 cents um, and how low did, did this go this went to 976 so the most you could have risked your biggest risk would have been 50 cents ideally you would want 25 you want a little bit tighter so you wouldn't have even stopped out here even if you had a 25 cent stop if you would have bought at 10 cents or if you would have entered like I like to enter which you let it go under 10 when you see it bounce back over you enter boom look at this look at this entry that would have been the perfect perfect entry guys so it's currently at twelve dollars so um so the breakout entry is above twelve dollars <laughs> so the breakout entry is above twelve with your targets being twelve fifty and thirteen dollars uh next breakout entry is thirteen dollars as you guys can see here got rejected a bunch of times there at 13 so 13 is the next so 12 is the first breakout entry 13 is the next breakout entry uh support is ten dollars support is eleven dollars really but eleven is not that safe of a support but it, it is a support and and ten dollars so those are the two entries i'd be looking for for support entries these are the two that i'd be looking for for breakout entries all right let's look at tezos tezos does not care about <laughs> what everything else is doing just doing its own thing just chilling relaxing and not really moving too much right so um i i am honestly not trading tesla's at the moment um if you did want to trade it i guess this two dollar area is kind of like the breakout area for tesla's if you can consider it that um it has gone up nine percent today so um so this is kind of a breakout uh if you if you want to enter i would just place my buy order above the current high of the day which is 208 so above 208 you can enter and good luck i'm not trading tezos neo look at this we finally reclaimed this level here which is what level is that <laughs> uh 15 it's like a random 15 something um but $16 is, is a real level that you're looking for here. Um, but I'm not entering that. I would need a, an entry. I would need a breakout above 17. So above 17, we're looking at 18, 19, 20. Um, and then above 20 would be my second breakout entry. So above 17 is where I'm looking. I'm not doing any support entries here. If you really wanted a support entry, I guess 15, 14 to $15 would be that support entry. I'm not doing that. I want to break above 17 so I know it's real and that's where I will enter um and the last but not least as you, just looking at the futures here we're at 15665 um last but not least Cardano is up 13% today but as you guys can see doesn't really care what Bitcoin is doing what everyone's doing it is so it is oversold over here so it's due for a break up right for a break out um it's up 13 percent today but uh i need to see a break above this level which is at 800 satoshi level or even better what i would really want is a break above this i want to break above this a thousand satoshis as you guys can see here um so those would be the the two breakout entries i'm looking for i'm not doing any uh support entries on this and that's basically it guys uh pretty much went over all the main stuff i gave you guys a bunch of different trade setups uh made this video way too long um so i'm gonna cut it here uh you guys enjoy your weekend guys uh the question of the day is what are the Bitcoin entries that I'm looking for. What's my breakout and what's my support entries that I'm looking for on Bitcoin. That's it guys. Enjoy your weekend. Make money. Pay attention to these trade setups because they work. And uh, I'll see you guys on Monday.
Peace and love, guys.